All right, so we're gonna try this again because the first time I filmed it, my microphone wasn't on and uh, you didn't hear a thing, so. I guess take two. Hey everybody, Nick from Nine Card TCG, and today we're gonna be looking at a Sylveon Rapid Strike box because, well, I haven't covered it in about a month, and there's been some changes. There's been some, uh, some upgrades or updates to the deck, and I think it's worth checking out, so let's get right to it. So the main card here is Sylveon V. It's a 200 HP Psychic type Rapid Strike Pokemon with the ability Dream Gift, which during your turn, you can search your deck for an item card and add it to your hand, but if you do so, your turn ends. We don't really care about Dream Gift outside of the first turn. We really want to be focusing on Sylveon VMAX with the Max Harmony attack for 3 colorless energies. It does 70 damage plus 30 more damage for each different type of Pokemon we have on the bench. So, of course, we have a bunch of different types of Pokemon. We have a Rangaroo, a colorless type with the Primate Wisdom ability, which lets us switch a card from our hand with the top card of our deck. It's great for preserving a card that we don't want to uh, lose when we play Research or Marnie, or it's great if we want to ensure we have a card for the following turn in case our opponent Marnies us. Crobat is another staple card everybody knows in. It's a dark type, and it has the Dark Asset Ability, which when you play this from your hand to your bench, you get to draw in until you have six cards in your hand. Rapid Strike, Urshifu, and VMAX. Blaziken V and VMAX, Leafeon V. The reason we have Leafeon here is because of the Greening Cells ability, which once during our turn, we can search a deck for a basic Grass-type energy and attach it to one of our Pokemon. But again, like Dream Gift, if we do, our turn ends. Again, this is something that we really only want to use turn one or turn two to help accelerate energies, and then we can really threaten either a turn two G Max Rapid Flow or we can threaten a turn two Max Harmony. So it's a really good setup. And finally, of course, we have Octillery with the Rapid Strike Search, which lets us search our, our deck for any Rapid Strike card in our deck and put it into our hand. Now we have a few different Rapid Strike cards here, like Fan of Waves, to help kind of set back. Things like Dragapult because they do play those horror psychic energies. We do have Tower of Waters to get free retreat or any of our Rapid Strike Pokemon and Corinna's Focus so that we can draw up until we have six cards in our hand. Lastly is the Rapid Strike Energy. Again, something everybody knows accounts for two energies, either a fighting, a water, or both. And the rest of the deck is fairly simple. We have our Quick Balls, Evolution Incense, our Switch, Tool Scrapper to get rid of Cape of Toughness. We do run three copies of Marnie and four copies of Professor's Research. Air Balloon, four copies of Boss. It's, it's kind of supporter heavy, but because we have so many search options with Rapid Strike Search, with uh, Dream Gift, with Greening Cells, and just the... The fact that we actually don't need to switch our Pokemon too often means that we don't need as many item cards and we can kind of lean a little more support or heavy. But that's pretty much the deck in a nutshell. Let's see how it does. If this is your first time checking out the channel, thank you so much for giving it a try. I really do appreciate it. If you like what you're seeing, hitting the uh, subscribe button and bell notification so you never miss another video help out the channel tremendously. We recently hit 500 subscribers and it would be great to hit a thousand by my birthday. So our opponent here, no basic Pokemon. We're gonna go ahead and start the Blaziken and we're just gonna, we're just gonna go, right? We're just gonna do it. We might not necessarily want to, but I'm kind of hoping they're playing a, a Zacian deck here. They start with a Zacian or Zamazenta. We can just go right into uh, hitting with either something like uh, Max Blaze because we have this Evolution Incense. And yeah, we're good there. So they're going to start the Oranguru. We're going to go ahead and actually throw down the Capture Energy. Because we can Greening Cell. I think that's the play here. Uh, we can throw down... Do I want to get rid of this Urshifu? Do I want to drop this Urshifu and draw an extra card? Or do I kind of want to wait until next turn? I think I'm going to wait until next turn. Well, Greening Cells. We'll go ahead and get this onto our Blaziken. And now, next turn, Evolution Incense for a, a Blaziken VMAX and just start taking names. We can also discard a Rapid Strike Energy and attach a 1-2 our Urshifu, if I can say we draw of Research, Research would be a pretty nice top deck. We can throw down the Crobat, get rid of the Rapid Strike Energy, attach one, and 
then use Max Clutch or Max Blaze Rather to attach that energy back onto our Urshifu. It'd be really, really good. So they are playing Zacian. We kind of figured that much when they mulligan. They showed us the hand of Metal Energy and Cape of Toughness. Nothing else goes with that like Zacian does. And they'll probably Intrepid... They might uh, Primate Wisdom and then Intrepid Sword. So they might be stacking the deck with a Metal Energy. It's what I would do if, if I had... I mean, I don't know what's in their hand, but it's what I would look to do. Try to accelerate an energy, and they do. So a boss's order is, is pretty important here. So we are going to go ahead and do this. Let's Evolution Incense. Let's get the Blaziken VMAX. We're going to Crobat. We'll draw some cards here. We get a lot of Rapid Strike energies, but that's okay because we can go ahead and discard this one. And we'll just get a Remoraid just to, to thin the deck a little bit. And now we can Max Blaze and attach that Rapid Strike energy to our Urshifu over here. How many? I only have one, so. And done. So. Now, this, this next turn, I'm going to be threatening both a G-Max Rapid Flow and a Max Harmony. So, we're in a pretty good spot here. And I'm going to hit this for 260. So, and it does unfortunately have that Keep of Toughness, which is going to put it 10 shy of be being KO'd. But, what are we going to do? So, they are going to hit me for 230 with the Brave Blade. Oh, they're just going to Intrepid Sword. Okay. Well. Let's go ahead. We'll just thin the... You know, we're going to get uh, another Blaze that can just... So they know we have one. Let's go ahead. We're just going to Max Blaze. We'll attach an energy. And now we're, we're all set up. I mean, I don't know what else they can do. We can't, we can use Magical Shot. Really, the Magical Shot is to handle this Zamazenta. It seems like they're going to try to wall us with Zamazenta, and that's fine with me. Because we're actually going to use 100 Furious Blows and then Magical Shot to take it out. Actually, we'll be able to do 100 Furious Blows twice and take it out, so... We get the Octillery, which is great. That Octillery helps a lot, actually. Let's go ahead and... Rapid Strike Search. We're going to get a Tower of Waters over here. And... Now we're going to retreat. And we're going to start. I'm just going to hit this. And let's bring up. Let's bring up Sylveon over here. We got another boss. So if they throw down another Zacian. Uh, I can boss it up and max blaze it and take the KO as long as it's not a tool scrapper. They do run four most of the time. And so let's see. So there's their supporter. So our hand's going to stay the same. So we definitely have our bosses for next turn. And we don't have to worry about them bossing up our Blaziken and taking the KO. But they don't search anything with Raihan. They get, you get another Zacian though. So... We are going to take the KO on that Zacian. It's weak to steal. But that's okay. So, let's go ahead and we're going to boss up 
and we are going to we're gonna rapid strike search for another Urshifu. And we'll go ahead and max blaze, take the KO. And we'll attach the energy here. And there we go. So now they will be able to get three prizes here. Maybe I played this wrong. Maybe I should have given him the Octillery earlier. Or the Leafeon. Because then I had the Air Balloon to retreat out. What is this do? Switch a card with the top of your deck. Oh, okay. I mean, if they bench another Zacian, then they just, or anything, they do lose. As long as they don't have the boss's orders. That's kind of the problem with this, right? If they have the boss's orders, because uh, they only have one prize left, so... It, it, yeah. Maybe I should have given them something else. Yeah, there it is. I don't have the money either to... Mm, man, you hate to see it. Maybe I misplayed that. So we're going into the second game, and if you like what you're seeing and you want to help out the channel a lot, hitting the subscribe... I already said that one. Uh, <laughs> I already did that one. If you like what you're seeing and you want to help the channel grow, Hitting the like button and leaving a comment are the best ways to tell YouTube this is another video that people should be watching. Uh, I don't like when we start Leafy on here. This is not good. So in the first set of videos I filmed, we had two Dragapults and something else. And we did lose to it. So... Because we lost because we started Leafeon and we weren't able to accelerate any energies. Flying Pikachu could be interesting because now we can hit for weakness with our Urshifu. It has 300, I think Flying Pikachu VMAX has 300 HP uh, and that's just enough that we can Gale Thrust for a knockout. So in theory, we could be set up for... There's a Sylveon, so we'll go ahead and we'll drop the Sylveon. We're going to Evolution Incense. We'll get the Octillery. We'll get the... Whatever. Um, and I kind of want to Marnie here. Because they have a lot of cards in hand. We get a Quick Ball. Quick Ball is nice. We'll get rid of this Blaziken VMAX. I don't think we need it too much. We prized both of our Urshifus. What are the chances we prize both Urshifus? Okay, well. Yep. So let's go ahead and Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have rapid strike search for a quick ball. Uh, for a rapid strike energy. Uh, you know what? That's fine. We'll do it like this. Because now, regardless which one they put up, if we if they get bossed or something, we, we are set up for two attackers. And Blazing and VMAX over here just needs two energy anyway. So I think we're okay. And they're gonna go ahead and gourmandize. We kind of force them to do that. We do have the boss, which is nice. So we can go ahead and rapid strike search for a rapid strike energy. There it is. We can also rapid strike for the fan of waves to get rid of that lightning energy that that um, whatever this is called. The uh, draw lightning energy. Towers doesn't really help us too much right now, but 
We'll put it down anyway. And what we'll do is dream gift. And we'll dream gift for an air balloon, I think. Is what we'll do. And the next turn we can go ahead and boss and start attacking into this Pikachu V. Assuming they don't Marnie, right? I mean, they did just Gourmandize. They have eight cards in their hand. It would be really surprising if they Marnie an eight card hand. I mean, that would that would be so strange. But who knows? They could work it down to like three, four cards and then Marnie. That's something they could do. So they do get the Pikachu VMAX and it does have 310 HP. Oh, so it's just above what you want to see. And we do want to get that fan of waves going for next turn. So this way they can't start to set up. They do need a switch card or a scoop up net to get that Snorlax out of the active. Otherwise, I'm going to start to uh, take advantage of the fact that they don't have an out and I can get a head on damage. So we will fan of waves next turn. Hopefully, and they have a switch. So let's see, do they go in for the attack? There's the boss. They're going to bring up my Sylveon V Max. Yep. Max Balloon hit us for 160. What does this do? Uh, flip a, uh, uh, from all basic Pokemon. Okay. Well, we're going to capture energy over here and. Let's go ahead and Rapid Strike search for that Fan of Waves. You know what? Yeah, I think that's the I think that's the play. Because I can always get the, the VMAX next turn. Well, Fan of Waves will get rid of one of their draw energies. I know they'll be able to draw a couple of cards, but that's okay. And we're just going to hit him for 210. A 220, rather. So, at least now they have to choose between setting up their other Pokemon V uh, and setting up this one to attack. So, they can't do both. So, if I were them, yeah, I mean, they'll take the knockout. That's fine. I have the Tower of Waters. I can just retreat an Octillery or something. Marnie is great. We'll throw down this Orangaroo. And we're going to go ahead and uh, let's Rapid Strike search first. We have one, and then we have two. You know, we have six energies in the deck. So we're definitely going to get the Sylveon because there's a higher chance we'll draw an energy than drawing the Sylveon. We'll go ahead and VMAX. And now we'll go ahead and just. Hit him with the Marnie. Drop that hand down. And we find the energy, which is very, very nice. We don't want to use the, the Rapid Strike energy because there's no point. We could save that for like a Blaziken VMAX or something. And now we'll just go ahead and Max Harmony. Hit them for the 220. Take the three prizes. And now they have... They do have a way to accelerate energies. But finally, we get an Urshifu. All right, Urshifu is very, very nice because what we can do is if a Pokemon gets knocked out, drop an Urshifu and set up the VMAX for the next turn. So they're going to scoop up net. They're going to Dynamotor to... I don't know if it's going to be the Zapdos. Okay, so it's going to be that Pikachu. It's the only one they're going to be able to do. And I would love to be able to get a boss and start hitting into that Pikachu, like, immediately. Or, maybe I don't need to, right? If they throw down a Crobat, I can take the, the KO on this uh, Mareep and then just boss up a Crobat later. They are searching their deck. They're going to Dynamotor again to here. And they will be able to attack next turn. They'll be able to attack next turn. Unless they have a switch card in their hand. They could be digging for one. 
They get the air balloon. Wow. Wow. And this is crazy that I'm probably going to lose here. So we'll go ahead. We're going to research. Or we're going to Marnie. Yeah, I don't have a choice. We're, we, I think we lose. Just because it took too long to get going. We can Air Balloon, Evolution, Incense for a Blaziken VMAX. We can retreat into the Blaziken Rapid Strike Search for a Rapid Strike Energy. Evolve and then hit with Max Blaze. And we'll attach, uh, sure, whatever. Okay. And we'll, we'll just do that, I guess. And if they have a boss, they win. If they don't, then uh, we might win. So we'll see what happens. I'm really, I'm really hoping that they don't have a boss here. What is this memory capsule? What's this other Pikachu? Ah, uh, they can't boss. Okay, nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Is there a way that they, they can't knock us out, though, can they? They could manually retreat, yeah, and go with uh, Thunder Snipe and knock us out like that because it does 160. Because, yeah, that's how this game works. All right, moving on to the last game of the video, and let's see how this goes. Hopefully, it's a little bit better than the first one. <laughs> uh, man, we want we do win the coin flip, so we want to go first. Hopefully, we don't start Leafy on only. We do get an Urshifu. Uh, I don't know what we're playing, but we'll put down the Urshifu. I think that's fine. And we can, because now we can, I mean, are we playing Ray? We're playing Ray. So let's go ahead and Rapid Strike Energy. We'll go ahead and get rid of this Blaziken VMAX. We're gonna get a Leafeon. Let's check our deck. We got the Phantom Waves. We got some Towers, Bosses, Research. We got plenty of energy. Uh, so we pretty much have everything we need. So we'll go ahead and get the Leafeon. And let's Greening Cells. No, no, I thought I clicked it. <laughs> Come on! I clicked it. Oh, come on, that's so stupid. <sighs> I hate this game. It's so, so irritating. Get the Remoraid. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see. They have one lightning energy in the discard pile. So even if I get rid of two of their Flaffies, I don't think it's going to matter too much. We get a Sylveon VMAX. That's not bad. Don't get Marnie. I, I really need a draw supporter. We run like 13 supporters. I mean, granted, four of them are bosses' orders, but like, come on. See, this is why I wanted to hit into the Ray, because I knew they got a VMAX, right? So. What do we. What I mean, they can't attack until they get a fire energy, and they already used research, so. They could, and they can't Dynamo her to the active. But now they can tighten them over to the bends. <laughs> oh, man. But they attached manually a lightning energy, which means they cannot attack this turn no matter what. But when they do, apparently it's going to be incredible. So 
So they already played their supporter and their energy this turn. Uh, okay. Evolution Incense I like. Because now we can go ahead and attach. We can evolve. Well, ev well Rapid Strike Search for a Corinna's Focus. We'll drop on you and then draw six new cards. See what we can make happen. And let's uh, greening cells and actually do it this time to our Urshifu over here. So we can now, no matter what, we're threatening a GMAX Rapid Flow next turn. And if they use Max Burst, I will take out both of their Flaffies. Because then they have no way of accelerating energies. So they do Marnie, that's fine because... I, I mean, I would like to see an Evolution Incense or... Uh, okay, oh, so perfect. So now we can Rapid Strike Search for the Rapid Strike Energy and then Evolution, evolution Incense for the... Whatever it's called, for the... Uh, for the VMAX, and then take up both of their Flaffies. So, we're in pretty good position to do that. And then they, they're not going to be able to hit us for any serious damage with Max Burst after that. And they are running through their deck at a pretty fast pace. So, they better start making some moves. Drawing even more cards. Did they... they Okay. They'll get two energies on that one ray. And then they have to they have to attach a fire energy. Otherwise they won't be able to attack. So So let's see what happens. I'm I'm in a I it might not seem like it, but I think I'm in a pretty good spot because even if they, they do a good, considerable amount of damage, uh, yeah, they, they know there's nothing they can do. So there you have it for the second time. Well, I guess for you, it's the first time. For me, it's the second time. And uh, I feel the same about it now as I did when I first made the video and that it's a good deck. I really enjoy playing it when it works, when it flows and it's rolling. It's really good. But if you start the game and you're starting with Pokemon or, you know, cards in your hand that just don't mesh together, which is a risk when you run these box type decks because you have so many fragments of a deck or so many fragments of, of things that like sometimes you just you aren't able to synth, you know, synthesize a, a good move or a good sequence together, a really good play. It, it does, that does happen. It is a risk. And if that happens, you're kind of dead in the water until you can get like a Marnie or Research or something and really reset. But games in this format are so fast. They only, you only really play four to six, maybe seven turns on a long game, something like that. So games end pretty quickly. And if you spend two or three of your five turns just trying to set up, you're in a lot of trouble. So that's my thoughts on the deck. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed this, like I said before, hitting the subscribe and bell notification so you never miss another video. Really help out the channel. We just passed over 500 subscribers, which I cannot believe we hit this. And I would love to see the channel grow more and more. And if you want to help the channel grow, well, hitting the like button and leaving a comment are the best ways to tell YouTube this is a good video and other people should watch it. If you, uh, I don't know, there's this, other stuff like following me on social media all the links in the video description that's gonna do it for us today thank you so much and i will see you next time